A deadly bus accident in China that killed the driver and 11 children, 10 of them Korean, has prompted the Chinese leadership to take action. The school bus caught fire inside a tunnel in Shandong province on Tuesday morning. Nuaram reports. Beijing's foreign ministry has offered to help Korea deal with the aftermath, with the ministry's assistant minister, Kong Shan Yu, phoning Seoul's envoy to China, Kim jang su telling him China's governing body is taking the incident very seriously. Similar comments were made by the ministry's spokesman, Gen Shuang, during a regular press briefing on Wednesday. The spokesman said the Chinese leaders have made important directions, asking relevant departments and local authorities to do their best to deal with the aftermath of the accident. He added that Shandong province and Waihei city have immediately activated their contingency plans and that leading officials have directed rescue work and made special arrangements to console and settle the bereaved families. Gen Shuang also said China will stay in touch with Korea through diplomatic channels. Separately on Tuesday, the vice governor of Shandong province, Su Li Cheng, relayed a message from President Xi Jinping to South Korea's consul general in Tsingtao that he has launched a special task force to speedily investigate the tragic incident. Chinese media has taken a political angle to the tragedy, saying the Chinese leaders vow to assist in dealing with the aftermath as a possible attempt to mend ties between China and South Korea, especially with newly elected President Moon Jae-in. Noaram Arirang News.